Ricky with Apple Valley Farm. Thanks a lot for being here. I'm gonna show you a quick look at a very common joint, the half lap joint. We've got two pieces of wood we wanna to join together. I'm gonna to make a little cross actually. So I want to, I could just kind of nail these pieces together and that would be okay. It'd be very, very rustic. And this is pallet wood, so rustic is cool but I'd like to take it just a little step further and refine it just a little bit by doing a half lap joint. Now that means I'm gonna cut off half of the material on the bottom side of this piece and half of the material on the top side of this piece. And then when they join together, they will wind up being flush. And that may not make sense just yet, but it will in just a few minutes when I show you what I'm gonna do. Now, normally we would do this on the table saw with a dado stack or a router with a straight bit. And then we would just chop that material out. I don't really, I don't have a dado stack and I don't really wanna get my router out and fool with all that. My table saw is already out. And I'm gonna say that's what most of us are gonna have. And even if you don't have a table saw, if you've got a skill saw, you can still do the same technique that I'm gonna to use today. I've already marked off where I'm gonna cut, but I need to take out half of this material right here. So let's go to the table saw, set it up, and we'll do that real quick. Now, one of the things about working with pallet wood is, in case you're not familiar with it already, the measurements on this are never <laughs> gonna be standard. So if this was a, a new piece of wood that I'd gotten from like say Home Depot, I would know that this is exactly three quarters of an inch thick. This looks to be pretty close to it, but it's not. I've already measured, so I know it's not. So this is actually <laughs> about 15 sixteenths which is okay. Hey, we're not looking for a perfect match up here, but I know that this is gonna, halfway of this is gonna be just a little less than three eighths of an inch. So let's, uh, I've marked about three eighths, a little less than three eighths of an inch on my board, but now I'm gonna go over here to the saw and let's see if we can get this to right at a little less than three eighths, which actually, I think we are there. I was eyeballing it earlier. And baby, I think I got it without even using the tape. Mm, that's good. Now that means, let's just make sure when I cut this, yeah, let me bring you a little closer so you can see what I'm talking about here. All right. There you go. Now you can see when the top tooth comes up, look at that. It's right there at that mark. That is right about where we want to be, except we're going to be cutting on this side. That is almost perfect. So we want to take that material out all the way over to here and all the way over to here. We're going to do that on this board. Then we're also going to do it on the other board. And then let's start doing some testing and see how they, see how they uh, match up. Now, also, I forgot to show you. So this is the side that we're going to be removing material on. Well, I've also transferred my lines over to the front that way when i'm cutting this i can eyeball and have an idea of where my where the saw blades going at least by looking at the top here ah, one more thing also i'm going to be using my miter guide to push this through so i can keep it eh, reasonably straight again we're not looking for absolute perfection here but i do want it to be reasonably straight i don't want it to be completely jacked up. So we're gonna use the miter guide, got the saw set, everything's ready to go. Here we go. So I just want to show you real quick what I'm doing now that we're we're getting there. I'm I'm pushing this through the blade 
And then as it goes through, I move it over about the width of the blade and then I pull it back. And then I move it over the, the width of the blade and I push it through. And we're just gonna do this over and over and over eh, 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 like this until we cut all of this material out. Then we'll do it on the other board and hopefully they'll join right together. Okay, so you can see we have removed that material. That looks really nice. You can do this on the table saw just like I did. If you got a skill saw, you can just do it with the skill saw. You, you know, the table saw is basically just a skill saw mounted uh, in a fixed position. So, or if you've got a radio alarm saw, of course a radio alarm saw would be, is tailor made for this kind of thing. Anyway, I've stopped just shy of my line and I wanna see if this is going to fit snugly. And that is actually a perfect snug fit. I almost could do that without, without even gluing it. That's perfect. Uh, so now I'm gonna do this one the same way. It looks like we've got a really good look here it may be a little deep but again that will be perfectly fine okay let's do this guy now and then uh, hopefully join them up together Those cuts, I think that looks really good. I stopped again, just short of my line, just so we can make sure these go together. So let's see what the fit is like. Ooh, it's very tight. And that's good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. Mm. Look at that. Now that is how it's done, son. Not a super duper perfect fit, you know? Um, but they, hey, that's okay. I could definitely, I can live with that. Especially on a pallet wood cross, right? Nice! And, and we'll hammer this in place. It'll probably go in a little more. Glue it, tack it from the back and that thing will be ready to rock and roll. Awesome. All right, everybody, thanks again for uh, hanging out with me here for a few minutes. Man, it's a hot day today. Um, there we go, the half lap joint. That's a pretty good looking pallet wood cross right there, if I do say so myself. A really simple joint, but it looks really elegant, you know, when it's done right. Kind of makes it look like you know what you're doing. Um, and it's really not hard to do. So there you go. There's one way to do it on the table saw. I hope you learned something. Hey, if there's anything I can answer for you, give me a shout over at info at applevalleyfarmga.com or hook up with us on any of your favorite social media sites or over at applevalleyfarmga.com. Oh, and hey, if you're so inclined, we have the weekly Everyday Woodworking Podcast. You can join us there where we're doing um, things like this all the time. We're discussing woodworking, we're discussing the shop, we're discussing things that are related to woodworking. Anyway, join us there. You'll have a good time. Have a good day. Take care. Go make something. See you next time.